Aloha gang. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this. I am a director and producer of this video. Um, and let's hope it turns out okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Joe Peralto. I'm your accounting 201 instructor. And uh, this is obviously a home produced video. And I'm hoping that this is going to work and uh, help you a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about the accounting equation. And uh, this might be a little difficult to see with the kind of lighting we have here in my uh, family room. But uh, let's hope it works. Accounting equation is fundamental information that's uh, essential for a uh, good understanding of the basics of financial accounting. Uh, the way it works, it's, it's set up in an equation format, meaning uh, that there is an equal sign and there are pluses and minuses uh, as part of it. Uh, first off, the left side of the equation must always be equal to the right side of the equation. On the left side of the equation, we have assets. And on the right side of the equation, we have liabilities, owner's equity, revenues, and expenses. Now, that in and of itself, right off the bat, is, is a little difficult. Uh, it's meaningless, essentially until you start uh, talking a little bit about what each of these categories uh, are and uh, how they're used in transaction analysis, which is probably the most important uh, part of uh, Chapter 1, transaction analysis. Uh, so talking a little bit about each one of these uh, categories, an asset is something, and, and we talk of accounting and bookkeeping in terms of a uh, business entity or a business organization. Uh, it could be for-profit, could also be not for-profit, but generally we're talking uh, in a business setting as compared to a personal setting. We're not talking about personal bookkeeping or personal accounting. This is in a business uh, setting. So an asset is something that the business owns. It should have some value uh, to the business or for the, vi or for the business. We should, uh, a business organization should focus its uh, asset acquisition or asset buying activities on those assets that have value, some value to the organization. And that value is primarily uh, connected to that asset's ability to earn income for the organization. So again, something the business owns should have value, and that value should be directly tied to its ability to help the organization earn income. Now as we move over to the right, a liability is uh, another, another term for liability, uh, first off, is debt. Um, and a liability or a debt of the uh, organization is basically an amount that the organization owes uh, to another organization or another business or it could be to, a, to an individual or individuals. Um, as we move uh, forward again to the right, I'm going to skip over owner's equity for the time being and go right to revenues. Revenue is another word or term for revenue is income. So revenues of the business represent its income and income generally is earned. And how does a business entity or organization earn its income? Primarily through one of two uh, ways Either it's going to be providing a service or if not providing a service, then most likely providing some sort of merchandise. So again, revenue is the income of the business and that income or revenue is earned and the process uh, of earning income involves the uh, providing of goods or services 
to some other party or some other entity. Uh, on the revenue, uh, in, a, in a typical revenue transaction, we are, the business is generally dealing with its customers. Uh, and so with that said, uh, it makes sense to go right into a quick definition of expenses. If revenues is our income, uh, then expenses is or uh, comprise our costs, costs of doing business. If revenues are earned, then expenses are incurred. That's pretty small. I-N-C-U-R-R-E-D, incurred. And expenses are incurred usually when we buy or purchase services or merchandise. So again, as, co as compared to revenues, revenues are income that we earn by providing goods or services. Expenses are costs that we incur by buying goods or services for our business. Owner's equity. Owner's equity is, is usually uh, a little bit more difficult to uh, explain and a little bit more difficult to understand. But essentially the owner's equity of the business, um, I like to explain it this way. The owner's equity reflects or shows us what uh, owner investments into the business have been, the amounts that owners have put into the business out of their personal resources, and it also shows the amount or amounts that owners have taken out of the business, and that's what we call withdrawals or drawings. And the last thing that the owner's equity uh, section of the uh, accounting equation will show us is the accumulated net income or net losses of the business over time. <clears throat> so we'll show that as uh, net incomes and or Net losses. Now this is a lot of information, obviously, but I just want to review it quickly. Uh, accounting equation, the amounts recorded on the left side must always be equal to all of the amounts recorded on the right side. We have the equal sign here between assets and the rest of the major categories. It's important to note that we add liabilities, we add owner's equity, we add revenues, but we subtract expenses over on the right side. To summarize, assets are uh, items that the business owns. Those items should have some value to the business or to the organization, and that value should be tied directly to uh, its ability to provide income uh, for the business or help the business earn its income. Uh, liabilities, another word for liabilities is debt, amounts that we owe to other organizations, other businesses, or to individuals. Income, I'm sorry, revenues uh, are our income. We earn our income by providing goods and services to our customers, and expenses are costs of doing business, we incur expenses or costs by buying services or merchandise, and and that group of uh, that party or that group of uh, individuals or businesses that we deal with, when we incur expenses, we call our vendors, or maybe a more common term would be our suppliers. Finally, in the middle, our owner's equity, or our owner's equity category. Uh, shows us 
owner investments, the amounts that owners have put into the business over time, owner withdrawals or amounts that owners have taken out of the business over time, and finally, the amount of accumulated net income or accumulated net loss over time. And with that, I'm going to uh, terminate this video, and I hope this works, and I'll follow up with a continuation of where we're at. Thank you.